There are two ways we can figure out whether one third is larger than three eighths. So is one divided by three bigger than three divided by eight? Do we get a bigger number? The first way is we can get a common denominator. And if we have the same number for the denominator, we can just compare the numerators to see which fraction is larger, one third or three eighths. So let's do that first. If I took three and multiplied it by eight, that would give me 24. And if I multiplied eight by three, that would give me 24. And I'd have my common denominator. But I have to multiply the top here by eight as well, because eight over eight, that's just one. So I'm not really changing it. It's still gonna be one third, just in a different form. One times eight is eight. Then here, I need to multiply the top by three. So I'm multiplying by one again, because three over three is equal to one. Three times three is nine. So now I have the same denominator. I can compare the numerators and see which fraction's larger. Nine, that's larger than eight. So three eighths, that's larger than one third. We could also divide eight by 24 or one by three. And if we do that, we get 0 0.33, which repeats. So we'll just call it 0 0.3. Nine divided by 24 or three divided by eight, it'll give us the same thing. That gives us 0 0.375. So if you think of this repeating out here like this, this is a larger number, 0 0.375, that's larger than 0 0.333. So again, 3 eighths, that's larger than 1 third. If you wanted to know the difference between 3 eighths and 1 third, you could just subtract 9 24ths by 8 24ths. You have a difference of 1 24th. This is Dr. B looking at which fraction is larger, 3 eighths or 1 third, 3 eighths is larger. Thanks for watching.